Hello, my name is Ali Marzubi. Um, I'm a third year PhD student in CPES Virginia Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about my research, which is focused on uh, static and dynamic characterization of latest generation 900 volt and 1.2 kilovolt silicon carbide MOSFETs from four well known manufacturers Cree, GE, Rome, and Somitomo Electric Industries. Uh, okay, here. Uh, we can see the uh, devices that are under test in this project. We have uh, the latest generation 900 volt Cree device with part number shown in the table. Uh, the also, devices from Rome, Somitomo Electric Industries, and GE are under test in this project. Uh, the table gives the part number uh, for each of the devices as well as their current rating and recommended gate to source voltage to be applied for each of the devices as well as their die size. So the aim is to do the static and dynamic characterization on all of these uh, silicon carbide MOSFETs. Uh, the Cree 900 volt devices in D2 pack and the rest are packed in TO247. And uh, it is worth to mention that the SEI device is a V MOSFET and the other uh, MOSFETs are D MOSFETs. Uh, the part here shows the a static characterization which is done by B1505 curve tracer of Agilent Technologies. A static characterization consists of uh, the output characteristic, transfer characteristic, specific on-state resistance and threshold voltages of the devices as well as their junction capacitances. At the other hand, for the dynamic test, a double pulse test circuit is prepared. As can be seen from this slide, the double pass tester uh, includes a, the, the DC power supply, which is uh, 600 volt, and actually the 600 volt is the bus voltage for all double pass tests. At the other hand, we have uh, decoupling capacitors uh, on the double pass test circuit. Combination of film capacitors with different magnitudes are selected to decouple the DC, DC bus coming from the DC supply. At the other hand, ceramic capacitors are uh, selected and uh, mounted in very close proximity of the device under test. The top switch is a Schottky barrier diode and the load is, in the, as, is an inductor as can be seen here. Uh, the, for the measurement of the waveforms, a low voltage Tektronix uh, passive probe is selected for gate to source voltage. The drain to source voltage is measured by Tektronix P5100 uh, high voltage probe and uh, a current shunt is used for current measurement. Uh, this is the overall diagram of the gate driver used. Uh, for the gate drive part, a, a single 20 volt input is uh, needed. Then, uh, by combination of uh, an isolated DC-DC power supply and combination of Zener diodes uh, with different voltages, uh, the variable voltages required for gate driver stage is, are uh, derived. It does worth to mention that uh, due to different gate source voltages of the devices, we need variable vo gate voltage for all the devices under test. The uh, incoming signal from a waveform generator, the dual pulse test signal, is being uh, buffered by ISO 7221 DC-DC buffer. And then this uh, driver used is IXDD614, which is a 14 ampere uh, driver. And uh, this slide, the last slide, is showing the, it, uh, how the gate resistance selection is done for all devices. Uh, the third column in this uh, the table is showing the internal gate resistance measured for each of the devices. The external gate resistance is said to have the same undershoot and overshoot on the current waveform of all devices when switching. And the last column is showing the total gate resistance resulting. Uh, here the main double pulse test circuit is shown where the device under test is mounted at the bottom of it and on a hot plate where it's going to be heated up to 200 C. Uh, the temperature on the hot plate is being monitored by a uh, thermometer whose terminal is uh, connected just adjacent to the device case to make sure of proper uh, temperature measurement. This is the load inductor shown here. Uh, the, the DC bus coming from the DC supply, 600 volt supply, is being uh, supported by bulk capacitors close to the dual pass test circuit. Also, an IGBT overcurrent protection is used for uh, protecting the dual pass test circuit and also the operator under the device under test failure, especially at higher temperatures. 
Based on the prepared all fast test setup, and dynamic tests are done on the devices from 25C up to 200C, and from the captured waveforms on the oscilloscope, the losses are calculated. That was all about my video. Now again, thanks for watching.